time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. It's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there, too. It's time to get this ratchet video started. Well, I got a new video and this is, you know, I love learning about all the goddesses and this is the one, the most powerful deity, goddess Lalita. I was like, this is the most power, more than Mahakali and all that. So I was like, I got to check this out. Do y'all also notice I got a new do? Do you like it? <laughs> all right, let's get it started. Y'all ready to do this? Let's go. Hello YouTube, welcome to Hindiverse. This is the channel where you can watch and listen to amazing mystic and oh, mythic yeah, stories as well as a lot of facts on Hindu religion and other religions as well. So please do subscribe to this channel. Tell us about Goddess Lalita. That's what we want to know, all about the Goddess Lalita. Now today, I will tell you about Goddess Lalita, who is the most powerful deity in the entire Hindu mythology. In full name, she is known as Parashakti Mata Lalita Tripura Sundari, which translates to Ultimate Power Mother Lalita, the beauty of three citadels representing earth, air, and space. She is a major deity in Saktism. She herself is the ultimate primordial energy Sak of all Saktism? universes. She is also the Supreme Consciousness or Nirguna Parabrahma who rules even over the Trinity Goddess of Hinduism, oh, Brahma, that. Vishnu and Shiva. She is the ultimate Goddess who can create or destroy the entire cluster of universes on her what? will and assigns Lord Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva for each universe telling them what they are supposed to do. That's how powerful she is. By default, she is the formless divine primary source of every energy she in the universe, the without which no one can lift their finger even by a millimeter. She gives the motion to the nature. She channels all the existential power without any rules and limitations, while the Trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, are bounded by their limitations and rules. The destroyer, preserver, and creator. She is mentioned in Brahmanda Purana, which explains how she was manifested into a divine physical form from her unmanifested Parabrahma form, the Adi Shakti. Her manifestation was made possible due to the divine ritual worship of gods from the multiverse. Ooh. Those gods from multiverse were being hunted down or being enslaved by a very cruel and powerful Asura named Pandasura. Oh, Pandasura that? was so the powerful, powerful that demon. he had already taken control of hundreds of universes and was causing chaos. To end the endless tyranny of such terrifying demon, the gods from multiverse made a plan to worship the goddess Adi Parasakti who is the ultimate goddess in her boundless and formless Brahman oh, I like form. her hair. Look at it. Thus, they started a Mahayagya, where they worshipped the goddess for hundreds of years. Okay. As the final ritual of the Yagya, all gods immolated themselves into the fire of Yagya, after this which so the divine goddess Adi Parasakti manifested into her divine physical form. Oh, she gorgeous. After that, she resurrected all gods of the multiverse and restored their duties. Multiverse. After finally attaining her divine physical form, she waged war against Vandasura with her with army him. of fierce goddesses. Eventually, she defeated Vandasura with Mahakamisur Astra, which is thousand she times stronger than all Narayanastra, Brahmastra, she and took him down. Look at that. combined. Narayanastra. Brahmastra and Rudrastra are the ultimate weapons of Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, and Lord Shiva, respectively. This alone shows how powerful Vandasura was and why Goddess Lalita was needed to defeat him as she was the only I one to that. wield and use such powerful ultimate weapon, Mahakameshwara Astra. That she was so powerful. There are still a lot of divine tales on her, which I will obviously bring to you guys in I upcoming videos. I need to hear more videos. about her. Till then, please keep yourself tuned into this channel. And did you like my content today? 
If so, please let me know in the comments. I love that though. They were like, oh, this demon, it was too powerful for, you know, the, the, the weapons of Laura Brahma, the ship. And they had to bring a girl in. That's one thing that I just love. Is that what you call it? Shak, shaktism? Shak, shaktism? Is that another word for Hinduism? Anyway, I love how there's so much girl power in this. The goddesses are just, uh, just as powerful and some more could take on the demons and do their thing. Because, look, girls, a lot of their religions, they will overlook it. Overlook the girl's place in it. I love that this admires the women in it too because they look they uh, a lot of times they say the other half and women's your other half this, this is why probably i was so attracted you know maha kali was the first one i was like maha mother goddess i love her it was that it was the women goddesses that attracted to me this first and then i was ever since then you know all right y'all let me know what you think comments thumbs all that until next time mwah.